All right, let me, uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm answering a question here. What, how is, um, in other words, I have my hospital heirloom original with the pink feet and gold certificate. I have made certified copies. What else is proper? Basically to a proper, properly authenticated birth certificate. So I got some images here. This is the, I'll start with this right here. Every state is different. This is what New York state looks like. This is the exact same one that I got. Uh, I think it's even this woman too. Let me see what the date is on this. Uh, it's crossed out, I think it's um, redacted. But anyway, if you notice um, the, con their, the amount of non-Hague countries is, 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 uh, is very few now. So I did, you know, through um, a recommendation through my mentor, because I tried so many countries and they just wouldn't come back full faith and credit at your state, because that's how you know, because whatever happens here is going to happen here. No, where is, come on, right here with the United States of America. So um, I was in New York State, so in order to get full faith and credit, you have to pick a non-hate country. Just do a Google search, non-hate country, but sometimes you there's misinformation. I use Taiwan, so um, and it went through because Taiwan is is non-hate, but they're changing. And maybe in a year from now, you know, it won't come back as full faith and credit because it'll be a hate country. So, um, but you know, that's just what I did. You, you know, you, I, I don't even know any of, I don't even, I know I've heard of Morocco and stuff, but um, so that's that. Do whatever you have to do research, you know, look in the blogs, look on Telegram, what, what countries are non hag at this, at this moment or do a Google search. So whatever you have to do to get full faith and credit um, on the state level, then Do whatever, here, let me just go through this. Let me zoom in. I. It is hereby certified that this particular was uh, that the clerk of the County of New York in the state of New York and clerk of the Supreme Court therein being a court of record on the day and date of the annex certificate. The key is annex, because when you get this, there's going to be an annex number. They see, they don't show it. There's going to be an annex number. That's a security. That's an annex number. Um, I got mine. Of the date of the annex certificate and duly authorized to grant same that the seal affixed to the said certificate is the seal of said county and court, that the attestation thereof of the said clerk is in due form and executed by the proper officer and that full faith and credit may and ought to be given to the said clerk's official acts. In testimony with uh, Whitney A. Clark, and this is with the Department of State, you got the seal here. So this is what it looks like on the state level, okay? And this is what it looks like on the um, federal level. That's that. Now we zoom in. United States of America. I'll even put these links in there so you can see, but no, nah, you don't even need it. To whom, to all, to, to all to whom these presents sh shall come greetings from the Department of State of the United States of America. I certify that this document here unto annex, there's gonna be that annex number up here. They cut it off, you see? And you get this gold grommet, you can call it a grommet or a rivet. Some people call it grommet. That's what I think the proper name is. I certify that the document here unto annex is under the seal of the District of Columbia and that such seal is entitled to full faith and credit. For the context contents of the annexed document, the department assumes no responsibility. This certificate is not valid if it is removed or altered in any way whatsoever. In testimony whereof, I, John F. Kerry, Secretary of State, oh, this was back in 2013, 
have here unto cause the seal of the Department of State to be affixed and my name subscribed by the assistant authentication officer of the said department at the city of Washington in the District of Columbia this fifth day of August 2013. So once you get this, let me see if... Um, Um, the, um, certificate, oh, no, it's not a certificate, it's an affidavit of beneficial, beneficial ownership images. Minnesota Rule 220. Once you once you get this, you know, once you get this, then you're gonna put uh you're not gonna damage this in any way. All you're gonna do is you're gonna put a affidavit of beneficial ownership. It, all it really has to have is Minnesota Rule 220. But let's see. Minnesota Court Rules Affidavit of Acknowledgement. That's not it. It's very, very small verbiage. They're trying to hide it. That's why. Let me try DuckDuckGo. Oh, you can't even try DuckDuckGo on here. Maybe you can, but they're not making it easy. So I'm just going to go to Firefox. It's very, very short. I can't share mines because I'm under a uh, non-disclosure agreement, but let's see if this Jonah Bay. What is this? Oh, it's scribe. Uploaded by Noah Body, Jonah Bay's New Year's show. Oh, this is, I don't know where, where did that document just go? Ah, you can't even see it. Anyway, you're going to have to join a group and get that. Otherwise, you're just going to use Minnesota Rule 220. Let me see. birth certificates. I am the beneficial owner of certificate of title. You might want to add annex, you know, annex number in here. Let me read through it. This is it. Once you get that, I'm going back here so I have everything on one page. Minnesota Court Rules Affidavit of Acknowledgement, General Rules of Practice, Rule 220, Minnesota Birth Certificates. The Registrar of Titles is, the Registrar of Titles is authorized to receive for registration of memorials. I'm just thinking if, if, if the Registrar of Titles is authorized to receive for registration of memorials upon any outstanding certificate of title, an official birth certificate pertaining to a registered owner named in said certificate of title showing the date of birth of said registered owner, providing there is attached to said birth certificate an affidavit of an affiant who states that he, she is familiar with the facts recited, stating that the party named in said birth certificate is the same party 
as one of the owners named in said certificate of title, and that thereafter the registrar of titles shall treat said registered owner as having attained the age of majority at a date 18 years after the date of birth shown by said certificate. Task force comment. The rule is derived from 4th District uh, R11.05. I am the beneficial so uh, beneficial owner of certificate of title for now over a year, generally people are putting their trust, you know, their, their, their trust or, you know, but I'm putting my express trust as the beneficial owner of certificate of title of four Germain E that's the all caps legal person born 1976, the day 7th of February. I am familiar with the facts stated. Uh, in Rule 220, which is attached above, I have signed this declaration in front of a notary. I am of age of majority after date of birth shown by said certificate. I am age of majority after the date of birth. It must be Jeremiah E. Bonet. State of New York, the jurat here. Or no, it's, this is just a personally known or produced identification. Notaries get it notarized over a year so um once you get this then the technique what they're using is they're making a promissory note um it, it gets complicated but what you gotta you gotta get this once if you want to start the process and you're just delaying because of this or that get your birth certificate authenticated because you don't have to be the person if you have no skills whatsoever you could find somebody and like, look, I got my birth certificate authenticated and I got the affidavit of beneficial owner. I don't know how to do all that other stuff, but can you help me? And then if you get somebody and then you become, you know, you can, uh, you know, pretty much give them your birth certificate. Like say if you were able to do all the, all the paperwork and such, you know, you, you could, you could become the beneficial owner of your decedents, you know, people that have passed already, if they had a birth certificate and such, and if you want to go after their accounts, like your forefathers and such, you can. Um, so why am I going? All right. So that's it. That's it. I just wanted to make this short video because I'm getting questions and rather than answer the question, I just thought I'd make a video. I'll call it, you know, properly authenticating a birth certificate. Um, that's, a, that's it. Uh, Zoom, meeting controls, stop share. I was recording. All right, peace and blessings to all.